In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The chief priests and scribes sent some of the Pharisees and Herodians to Jesus to catch him out on what he said. They came to him and said, Teacher, we know that you are a man of integrity. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are, but you teach the ways of God in accordance with the truth. Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay our taxes or shouldn't we? But Jesus knew their hypocrisy. Why are you trying to trap me? he asked. Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. They brought the coin and he asked them, Whose image is this? And whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. And they were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. As we hear in this Gospel passage, the Pharisees were out yet again to trick Jesus, this time by trying to get him to denounce the Roman Emperor so that they could report him to the authorities as a dangerous revolutionary. Again, however, Jesus is patient with them, and in patience responds to their questions, correcting them, but not condemning them. In our own lives, we may find on occasions we try to test Jesus too. It may be in situations when we know that what we want to do is wrong, but we argue that we should be allowed to do it for one reason or another. Despite these occasionally misguided decisions, Jesus is patient with us, but does not hold back from correcting us. We may know how to be good citizens in the world, but do we always give the honour to God that is due to him? Do we acknowledge the great gifts he has given us by turning to him in thanksgiving daily? Today let us become more aware of the need to give to God what is God's. So let us finish with prayer. Lord God, you have stood the attacks of others with patience. We thank you for your patience with us too, for those times when we stray from the path you set out for us in love. We ask that you may form our hearts to be more like yours, so that we may be patient in times of trial and courageous in our decisions to choose what is right. We make these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.